Hey everyone, Christian here, and this is going to be a plant review about what you may think is a palm, but is actually a cycad, which is a coning plant and not a flowering one. So <clears throat> this is Zamia furfuracea, is uh, better known as the cardboard palm, which is, a, again, it's not a palm. This is native to the uh, Yucatan in Mexico, and uh, it gets its name from the texture of the leaves. So if you, obviously you can't feel this through the video, but if you touch the, the leaves, especially the underside, it feels like you're touching cardboard. It's a little bit rough, a little bit, a little bit gritty, um, depending on the, the plant. Some of them are a little bit rougher than others. And um, this is a, actually a very commonly planted uh, cycad here in Florida because it's just so easy to grow. Um, it actually has kind of gotten out into the wild and started kind of growing in other clumps. And this one here is probably originally one planting that continued to seed and make more heads. So zamias don't um, don't really pup; they multi-head. So in here, there's probably seven or eight mature plants, um, where other cycads like encephalardos and uh, dayun will pup. Uh, zamias and ceratozamias tend to just multi-head. So um, you guys, you may see uh, this with uh, cones on it. And I'm gonna I'm searching here for a cone. I haven't uh, found one. It was just the foliage is kind of dense. It's not that time. Here we go. This, so there's a female in there. If you can see that, and you can see those little leaves right there, actually all seedlings that have germinated. So this thing is self-pollinating, I mean, there's a male and a female present. So there's pro there were probably more than one original plant here, or maybe that one grew up from the mother from a seed that was somehow pollinated and became, a, or the, you know, was a male, so it was pollinating it. So, um, but yeah, these are, uh, these are pretty common in most of Central and South Florida. They don't do very well in frost, but they're very hardy to the actual cold. They'll actually burn in most uh, frost. But uh, they are, I mean, if you look at it, I mean, it actually looks like a pretty nice plant. The, if they weren't so common, I think that they would be given more, uh, looked upon as like a, you know, a beautiful, these kind of like layered, tiered leaves uh, that are keeled to the rachis, you know, are actually quite beautiful. And I think if this were rare, it would actually be highly sought after. Um, so the seeds are actually very easy to grow. The, you, you know, ideally you want to peel the red fruit off, but it will disintegrate eventually in some heat and, uh, just throw them and they really will grow in like any, any mixture you give it wet, dry. They just, this is a little bit more lush. It's underneath uh, some oak canopy. So usually these can be a little more tightly packed or they can actually be a lot taller. Um, they're often trimmed like hedges, which it looks, it makes them look kind of odd, but, uh, but yeah, this this is part of a uh, of a complex of zamias that are, I mean, I just call them the Caribbean zamias, the ones that kind of grow along the coast of the Caribbean, which include uh, Cuba, Puerto Rico, uh, the Yucatan Peninsula of uh, Mexico, down through some of the coasts, um, a couple other uh, smaller islands like Cayman Islands, the Bahamas. Uh, these 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 kind of integrate a little bit into the Mexican zamias and into the Central American zamias, but they still exhibit characteristics of the Caribbean ones. Um, you know, being clumping, having, <clears throat> being very hardy to uh, drought and to, uh, to sun. And uh, yeah, they just do so well here that they've kind of escaped into, uh, into habitats, or, you know, outside of uh, cultivation. So <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's classified as a, a, a class two invasive, but I wouldn't be surprised if it were. So um, again, you need a male and a female from the pollinate. And also what's important to know about, uh, the cardboard is that it um the seeds are actually very toxic to make sure animals will tend to like to eat them so if you have a dog around uh make sure that you or any kind of animal that would graze on seeds make sure you know if you're in a, at a farm you know have a farm make sure that they don't eat the seeds um you know that it will kill an animal it, it'll give it like a liver poisoning so just be careful if you have animals in, the, in your yard so that's one thing to kind of note um and I was, like I said, it's about, it's hardy to about, uh, it's probably, you know, the leaves are not hardy to really below much below freezing out in the open, but under canopy, they're probably good into the mid twenties. And the plant itself can probably take a dip down to about 20 degrees itself, you know, before the, the trunk just kind of freezes out and dies. So even though the leaves aren't that hardy, the, the, the stem itself, the trunk is actually, or the caudex, I should say, is uh, hardy to about 20. So, um, yeah, the seeds are relatively small. Those are actually not fully formed seed in there, but they're uh, they're going to be about the size of I don't know. They're going to be about 
half an inch long, quarter inch wide, and uh, this you know you're gonna have like a dark red color. So if you see them kind of growing, they'll definitely be in the northern hemisphere. They will be uh, usually harvested around January or February. These might be some leftover good seed there, right beyond that spider web. Unfortunately, that's the only view I have of the cones. So anyway, like I said, it's not a palm, but it's a, often mistaken for cycad to, to be a palm. So I figured I'd do a vlog on it. Um, if you guys have any questions about this plant or any other zamias, any other cycads like this, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and you'll see many more plant reviews like this. And I'll see everyone next time.